my son, attend to my words, incline your ears to my sayings, let them not depart from your eyes, keep them in the midst of your to them who find these words, God's words. The song that we just sang was taken from the book of Proverbs, chapter 4, and in verse 20 to verse 22. And it talks about, you know, God is telling us to attend to his words, the word of God. And then he says, incline your ear to my sayings, or tune in your ear to my sayings. And then he says, let them not depart from your eyes and to keep them in the midst of your heart. That's the song that we just sang. Mm. And then it says, for they are life to those that find them. God's word is life and health to all our flesh. Mm. Life and health. Yeah, God's word is truly life and health. I love the word, uh, the meaning of the word life. It means to live prosperously. Mm. And the word health means cure, soundness mm. of mind, and also it's kind of like a medicine, medicine, which is healing. And that's what we've been talking about is that healing is God's will. Mm. And today, if you don't know that, you can know that today, that God wants you healed. Amen. He wants you whole and living a life that is so enjoyable, full of blessing. Mm. Last time we saw how Jesus, he has taken the curse so yeah. we can have the blessing. Yeah. And this verse in Proverbs 4, it mentions that God's word is kind of like life and it is health to mm. our flesh. You know, the, the other part, there's another part in Proverbs 3 I like to kind of look as well. It means the word health there is also talking about healing for our bones. Let's see that in Proverbs 3 and verse 7 and 8. It says, Be not wise in your own eyes, Fear the Lord and depart from evil. It shall be health to your navel and marrow to your bones. So the word health there is also referring to healing for our bones. I mean, God wants to heal our entire body. Mm. I mean, we don't have to keep living sick all our life. Today you can know that God wants you healed. 
Yeah. Let's just see that part once again. God's word is health to our navel and marrow to our bones. Mm. God wants you healed. I mean, it's just as simple as that. He wants you healed. Every part yeah. of our body. And you know, the, one of the most simplest verses you can start with is, by his stripes, I am healed. Mm. No matter what sickness you're going through, no matter you know what kind of mental torment it might be, mm. God wants to set you free today. Yeah. And you can live a life of abundance, yeah. of healing. Yeah. And also, I'd like to take you to another verse. And that's the good thing yeah. about God's word is that you know, it's medicine to us. Mm. And just like we would take physical medicine, yeah. we can take God's word as medicine. And mm. God's word is never outdated. You know, medicines can run dry yeah. and can get outdated sometimes. Mm. And then you have to run back and get another bottle. Yeah. But God's word is forever the same. Right. And you can memorize these scriptures and then confess them out of your mouth. And so that it becomes, it really actually is life to us. Mm. When we take it, we see them working in our bodies like physical medicine, but even better. It's medicine. It is medicine. It's kind of like a medicine that you can intake over and over again and speak it out. And never yeah. overdose. Yeah, there's never an overdose. Yeah, you know, you God's word, you can never overdo taking it. Mm. You can take it more and more and it's going to bring even more healing mm. to your body. Yeah. And one of the most important things is saying words of healing out of your mouth. That really establishes, it causes your body to respond to that. Mm. Let's That's see that. Believing yeah. and receiving, you know, the word that mm. Jesus did. The work that he finished on the cross. Yeah. He brought healing for us. And mm. how do we receive it? It's by speaking words of healing. Right. You know, the power of the spoken word is really important. Let's look at, um, well, I'm going to refer to it. It's in Psalm 107.20. It says that God has sent his word and healed them and delivered them from their destructions. Now notice this part. It says God has sent his word and brought healing. So right now today, even as we speak, God is sending his word of healing. Mm. He wants you to know that by his stripes you are healed. Mm. He wants you to know that his word is life and health to all your flesh. Mm. There's a story in the Bible that tells us about the power of the spoken word. A person who believed God's word and received that as his healing. Mm. Let's take a look at that. That's in Matthew 8. Yeah, speaking life-filled mm. words over our body is yeah. so important because, you know, in the book of Proverbs, it says death and life are in the power of the tongue mm. and those who love it will enjoy the fruit of it. So if we want to enjoy life, here on earth, we need to speak life-filled words. Right. And if we're only constantly speaking death-filled words all the time, words of sickness and disease, and you know, those things, you may be experiencing them in your bodies. Mm. And yeah, sometimes that's the only easy thing to say. But the more we speak, I'm healed by the stripes of Jesus. God's word is health and cure to my body. Yeah. The more it begins to work in your body. And your body responds when we speak those words, yeah. it responds to life filled words and it can respond to either life or death. Mm. And we do that by speaking words. Yeah, and today God wants to speak to you and tell you that you can be healed. You can receive his healing. All you got to do is receive the word that is spoken and believe that. It's just simple. Mm. You know, the word says by his stripes you are healed yeah. and you believe that and you say it out of your mouth. Lord, I thank you that you were tormented physically and mentally in all mm. areas of your body yeah. so that I might receive healing. And, and the thing about words is words are like seeds. Mm. You know, Jesus mentioned the word of God is seed. And, you know, even in natural, the natural seed, when you plant it in the ground, you don't see a harvest immediately. But it takes maybe a few months, a few years usually right. to get a harvest. Mm. But the harvest definitely comes. Yeah. And so even the word of God, like we said, it's seed. When we plant these words and the ground is our heart, when we plant it into our heart and we keep saying it, and that's what we do when we renew our mind right. with the word of God. And the more we speak it, the more life and the more health and our bodies res will respond to it. It's like the song that we sang. It says, you know, my son, attend to my words, incline unto my sayings. And God is not telling that to you because he wants you to just know the words, that's all. He's saying that so you might know the results that it brings. Mm. And the results are life and health. 
And the power of the spoken word is so important. Let's see an example of a person who understood the power of speaking God's word. That's in Matthew 8. Let's see verse 5 through 10. And I'm going to kind of summarize this. There was a centurion man. He was a Roman soldier. And he had a very sick servant, somebody who was very dear to him. And he was tormented. He was paralyzed, actually. Mm -hmm. The condition that he was facing was, it says here he was sick with um, kind of a palsy. Paralyzed. Yeah, he was uh, paralyzed. And he comes to Jesus and tells him about the situation. And Jesus says, I will come and heal him. That's Jesus. You know, he didn't say, I'm too busy. I don't have yeah. time. I will. I will. There's the word will again. Mm -hmm. He's showing that it's his will to heal. Yeah. And then the man says, you know, I'm a man under authority. I, you know, when I tell soldiers come, they come and go and they go. And when I tell my servant do this and he does it. So what he was saying previously, he said, Lord, I'm not worthy that you should come under my roof. Mm. Maybe he thought, well, I don't <coughs> think Jesus will come in. But mm. what he says in verse 8, let's see verse 8. He says, Lord, I'm not worthy that you should come under my roof, but speak the word only and my servant shall be healed. I mm. believe that if you speak words of healing, my servant will be healed. Mm. And you know what Jesus says? See what he says in verse 10. The last part of verse 10 says, you know, verily I say unto you, I have not found so great faith. Jesus was amazed at this man because everywhere Jesus was healing people. You know, when they said, I'm sick, he was bringing healing. But this man, he said, you speak the word of healing and my servant will be healed. That's all I need. Yeah. He believed in the power of the spoken word. And, and this centurion, he said, Lord, I'm not worthy. But before that, we see Jesus said, I will come and heal him. Mm. Jesus didn't look at him and say, you're not worthy mm. for me to come and heal you. Yeah. So we don't even have to pray prayers like that and say, Lord, I'm not worthy for you to heal me, right. you know, because of the things I've done and mm. stuff like that. In the before verse, Jesus says, I will come and heal him. So it Jesus is, was willing. Jesus was willing. He was willing. Yeah. But this man understood something greater. He understood that healing was in the power of speaking words. Mm. When you speak the word of healing, my servant will be healed. Yeah. And then towards the end, it says, verse 13, Jesus says, go your way. As you have believed, so be it done unto you. Mm. And his servant was healed in the self-same hour. Mm. And like we saw earlier, Psalm 107.20 says that God has sent his word and healed them and delivered them from their destructions. Yeah. Everywhere Jesus went, he was speaking healing. Mm. And today God wants to speak words of healing to you. He wants to tell you that I'm sending my word, which is life and health to your flesh. It is mm. healing for your mind. It is healing for your body. Praise and God. words can travel distances that people cannot. Yeah. Now this man didn't want Jesus to come to his home, but he knew the power behind authority, mm. authoritative words. Yeah. And so he recognized if Jesus just spoke the word that his servant would be healed. Right. And there's power in speaking God's word. Mm. And today I believe God is healing people out there who are facing headaches and a lot of mental torment and physical pain too. Yeah. God is setting you free right now. He's yeah. sending His word of healing and yeah. He wants you well. You know, God, He gives you healing, but then He also gives your life back together. And that's what He wants to do today. Mm. So receive your healing receive right it. now. Just receive it. Wherever you are watching this, God is sending His word of healing and healing your body right now. Mm. So as we see the power of the spoken word, you know, death and life truly is in the power of the tongue. And Jesus said, I have come that you might have life and have it abundantly. Mm. I love that, you know, abundant life. That's the kind of life that God wants you to have. Yeah. A life filled with healing and health. That is blessing. Mm. To walk in the blessing of healing is yeah. truly amazing. And there's another good scripture in Psalm 118, yeah. verse 17. And maybe some of you out there, you've been given a limited number of months to live and you're in a hopeless condition. Well, this is a good promise you can declare out of your mouth and believe that it will come to pass. Psalm 118 verse 17 says, I shall not die, but live and declare the works of the Lord. Amen. That's a powerful scripture. I shall not die, but live and declare the works of the Lord. 
You know, if you don't, to live. yeah, I don't think people desire to die so yeah. quickly. I mean, nobody wants to die quickly. Yeah. But if you have been given a bad report, you know, of, you know, limited months to live, you speak this scripture out and it will begin to work in your body. Yeah, you don't have to give up on life. God wants you to live mm. and he wants to bring healing to your body right now. Yeah. He's sending his word of healing. Just believe that word and receive that word mm. because his word is life and health. And you know another place God says that he blesses our food and water. And let's let's look at that. It's in Exodus 23 verse 25. It says, And you will serve the Lord your God and he shall bless your bread and your water. And he says, I will take sickness away from the midst of you. Mm. And another place he says, the Lord will take sickness from you and put none of the evil diseases of Egypt. So today God wants you to know that He is taking sickness away from your body right now. He's he said your food and your water is blessed. Amen. Isn't that good? When you eat your food, you can say, Lord, I bless this food. Yeah. Thank you for the food that's set before me. Mm. And receive that as you know, a blessing. Lord, even as you bless it, it goes into your body and it digests. You know, normally. And the worst thing we could do is speak bad words over our food. Yeah. Because like we said, words are seeds. Mm. And when we speak good words, you know, those words begin to work in our bodies. Right. And even over our food or yeah. over anything, you know, for that matter. Words are very powerful. If you speak, you know, negative words over your food and how this is going to kill mm. you or this is not good for you. And, you know, if you don't like it, don't eat it, you know. but. Yeah. But don't keep cursing your food and eating it mm. because God's word is powerful. God's word is life and health to mm. your body. Bless your food and eat it. Yeah, and God says he's taking sickness away from you. See, that's what Jesus has done about our sickness. Yeah. He bore it on himself on the cross of Calvary. He took all that pain, all that agony, and it was kind of like a great exchange. You know, like we said previously, we were kind of the in the place of um, Barabbas. We were supposed to be in that place and take the punishment. Yeah. But Jesus came and he took the punishment. So we don't have to carry that. Yeah. We are free and that makes us want to rejoice. Amen. You know, sing a song of praise mm. that I am free. Jesus took the curse so yeah. I can have the blessing of healing. Mm. That, that to be so freeing. It should set you free. The Bible says, whom the Son sets free is free indeed. Mm. That's what Jesus has done about our, you know, our curses. And also, you know, God's word is healing for your mind. Today, God wants to set you free from every, you know, mental oppression or torment. You know, the mm. enemy is the author of all these things. But God wants to bring healing for your mind today. There's a story in the scripture that tells us about a man he was demon possessed, right? And he was, um, he couldn't be, he, he was not clothed and nobody could keep him in one place. They couldn't even put chains on him. And um, the situation was that, you know, he, he was just a, a loose, nobody could control him. And then Jesus comes and visits him. And he, you know, tells him, he first of all commands the demon spirit out. He says, out in Jesus name. And he speaks life to that man's body. And after that, the next part of it says, this man, he was seated and clothed in his right mind. Mm. I love that. He All this time, he was, his together. mind was tormented yeah. and he had no idea how to keep himself still. Mm. But Jesus comes and brings the word of healing and this man receives his right mind. Praise, Praise the Lord. God wants to bring you back to your right mind. Yeah. Praise God. He wants to bring you back. And he wants to set you free this day. Today yeah. you can believe that. You know, we see that through all these scriptures, God is bringing healing to our body. Mm. Praise God for his healing. Yeah. And we need to first know that it is God's will to mm. heal us. And because that's the thing we need to establish first. Mm. You know, it's not, you know, because I've done this, because I've done that, God does want to heal me. But it is God's will to heal us. And then go to the word and find scriptures that you can speak over your body. Right. Like we saw in Isaiah and First Peter, by Jesus' stripes, yeah. I am healed. And then we spoke about, you know, God's word is life and health to all our flesh. Right. And right now we want to pray for you, a prayer of healing. And God's spirit is moving right now. 
even as we speak. Let's pray. Lord, I thank you for your words of healing that you're bringing, Father, to your people. You have said that you sent your word and healed them from their destructions. And right now, I take authority of every sickness and pain that these people might be going through in their bodies, and we speak out. Satan, you have no right over their lives. Take your junk and get out. Father, we thank you that your word is life and health to their bodies. Right now, you're speaking and you're sending your word, and we believe that they are set free in the name of Jesus. Amen.